I can't tell you how much I appreciate the win by the Falcons today. Um, well, let's talk a little bit about the nitty gritty and all everything everybody had to say. Stop the run. Um, Chubb going to get his, um, but it's, it's a question of how much he's going to get. And I thought that Atlanta's defense uh, did enough uh, to stop the run, but how about A.J. Terrell? Holy crap. Um, Amari Cooper, if I'm not mistaken, had one catch for nine yards. That's the second second game in a row. Didn't he, didn't he lock up A.J. Metcalf just last weekend? How was that? Not recognized. AJ Terrell, one on one, shut down number one wide receiver for both teams back to back weeks. Crazy. Crazy. One catch for nine yards, if I'm not mistaken. That's insane. Uh, but you got to think that the tight end got his, right? Was jo jo Jokov or whatever his name was. So he got his. Um, but, uh, that was the only other option that, uh, Jacoby Brissett had all day long was the tight end. That was it. I'm good with that <laughs> all day long <laughs> because it's just, I mean, you, you shut down their number one option and J J Jacoby Brissett, Brissett had nobody to throw to and He's not mobile. So what, what are you going to do with that? Um, the defense, man, again, came through. Uh, they, you know, but, but, but I'm kind of curious what has happened between the, what was it? Four sacks we had a week one or five. I can't remember. Uh, the, and then, um, the one we had by, uh, Grady Jarrett today. So what has happened between now and then, uh, other part of the equation, um, Cordell Patterson went down and Tyler Algier, um, didn't, you know, necessarily, he's just kind of a focused, go get them kind of guy. So um, what happens uh, then? You put Huntley in and Huntley goes gangbusters. Uh, then you have Arthur Smith uh, going to, he did Tyler Algier, then he did, uh, then he did uh, what's his name? Not Hawkins. Uh, the other kid uh, on a kind of like a squicker, a, a quick screen. But I didn't see Huntley after that. What is going on with that? Um, am I the only one missing that? The kid, if I remember from preseason, went nuts. And then you put him in into a uh, game time situation, and he goes down the entire field uh, and ends up with a, a touchdown. Why are we not seeing more of him? That's, that's uh, baffling me. Let's get to Mar Marcus Mariota. Um I, I'm baffled. Um, there's no other options. Um, I, I'm not ready. You know, I'm not ready to pull the plug on him. But you you got to play to his strengths. So what? How do you how do you game plan that? And I don't think Arthur's doing enough around his mobility to, especially from side to side on either side of the line, uh, for rollouts, for whatever it needs to, to, to deal with that. Because, um, in any type of those situations, a lot of the time what you're dealing with is you're dealing with an, if you're rolling, then you have a, a typically a, a, a back coming out of the field and maybe a tight end coming across and that's the perfect situation. So are the, is the defense game planning for that uh, on those rollouts? Or is Arthur just not recognizing that Marcus Marriott is not, he's not a great passer. I mean, he's a great game manager, much in the sense of J Jacoby Brissett, uh, but he's more mobile. Um, not maybe as accurate as Brissett, but at the end of the day, it's, it's kind of, you know, if, if you look at, you know, the reason I say that is that, you know, I look at my favorite team, I'm here in Florida, is FSU, is that they seem to manage uh, Mike Nolan with the head coach of FSU, seem to, to manage that a little bit better. 
Uh, now, um, yeah, so I don't know. It, I, I'm just kind of baffled that. And who, please don't dismiss uh, Koo. Um, my God, I mean, that guy is automatic. Um, if you haven't picked him up in your fantasy league, you're an imbecile because he is money. Um, he, he is an absolute stud as far as all that's concerned. So uh, you, you got to pick him up. Um, and then um, the last thing I, I wanted to mention was Grady Jarrett. Um, uh, God, what, do you, what, what more? So two games in a row, right? He splits, I think it was, splits the defenders last time. It's a sack. Uh, that puts him in fourth, and uh, the pass was short. Uh, and then this time uh, gets a sack again. Uh, game winner, um, punt, and then, you know, you, you remember the rest from there. So, um Grady Jarrett picks his spots, which is just, it's a sign of his intelligence, guys, okay? He he understands when to pick his moments. He has the ability to do it every single down, but he's smart enough to pick his moments. And that's, I love that about Grady Jarrett. And I think that's, um, I'm glad we locked him up. He's a stud. Um, wish we could find him help. And let's not forget that um, we have, um, let's say it's like 55 or $60 million in cap space next year. So uh, let's continue our enthusiasm for the efforts of the, the Falcons um, this weekend. We are two and two. We should be at least three and one. I mean, if you think about the New Orleans game, Jesus, you know, what, what are we doing there? Giving up those big, big yardages in the, you know, the, what was the third last drive? That was insane. The Jameis Winston. I'm an FSU fan, but Jameis Winston, come on. Um, and then um, and then um, you think about the uh, the come from behind. The Rams are just a better football team. They got more talent across the board. But we have 60, what was it, $60 million in cap space coming into next season. Hope is on the way. <laughs> are we a playoff team? No, not at this point. Are we going to support our Falcons? Absa hundred percently. I'm gonna I'm gonna live and die by the Falcons. I promise you. But um, I enjoy the win. That was a fantastic win. Oh my gosh! I you know and oh by the way, when are we gonna get? I mean, come on. I mean, when are we gonna get our tight ends and wide receivers involved with that? Not that I think that's a bad a bad uh, recipe, but how do you, I mean, how do you not get Pitts and London involved in some way? I mean, are they triple covering these guys at some point? And that's the flaw of Mariota. It's kind of like what, you know, that's, that's the limitation that you're finding with, I think with Pitts in, in London is that you have Mariota behind center. I mean, think if you had Aaron Rodgers. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, think about what, how many yards Pitts would have or, or London, I mean, you know, think about you have Tom Brady. I mean, think about how many times, you know, he's hit Gronk, you know, <laughs> or or Evans, you know, in Tampa Bay. So, um, you know, it's, it's we got to get better quarterback for sure. Um, and we got to get better um, defensively and help is on the way. Um, I love DMPs. He's just a stud. Um, I love the way he schemes. But other than that, <sighs> Two and one against the Mets. Let's go Braves for tonight. Um, let's make it a clean, a clean sweep. Let's get it done. And then we have a, I think it's a three game set against the Marlins, um, which should be easy, easy sailing because uh, they're last in our division. I think they're selling off. So um, thanks for, thanks for, you know, send me your feedback. Love to hear it. Might ignore it. I don't care. Just wanted to shout my enthusiasm for the win today. Go Falcons.